All the great economic revolutions in history share a common denominator. At a moment of time, three defining technologies emerge and converge to create what we call in engineering an infrastructure that changes the way we manage power and move economic life. First, new communication technologies to more efficiently manage the economic activity. Second, new sources of energy to more efficiently power the economic activity. And third, new sources of mobility, transportation, logistics to more efficiently move the economic activity. So when communication revolutions converge with new energy regimes and new modes of mobility, changes the way society manages, powers, and moves its economic life. It's clear that the second industrial revolution we've been living through in the last century has peaked. Productivity has stalled, unemployment's high, GDP is uh, low, and the millennials trying to find their way into the workforce are not getting jobs. So uh, we are now on the cusp, fortunately, of a third industrial revolution, uh, a new coming together of communication, energy, and transport to manage power and move economic life. The communication internet, we're all on it, three billion people with their smartphones, is now converging with a digitalized renewable energy internet where everyone makes their own renewable energy, solar, wind, et cetera, and shares it back with each other on the grid. And that renewable energy internet is now converging with a digitalized GPS, automated, and soon totally driverless road, rail, water, and air internet to create three internets, communication internet, energy internet, transport internet to manage power and move economic life. And they rest on top, these internets, of the internet of things. We're connecting all the devices so they can communicate with each other. And this third industrial revolution, this infrastructure, is going to be as powerful in its impact as the first and second industrial revolutions. For 40 years, we're going to have to build out the infrastructure, millions of jobs. It's going to involve every industry. And it's going to create what we call smart Europe, a totally digitalized, high efficiency, high productivity, low ecological footprint, low marginal cost. And it's going to allow us to address the big issues facing us. It's going to allow us to address climate change. We're going to get off fossil fuels. It's going to allow us uh, to create more efficiencies so our productivity increases. It's going to allow us to re, uh, dramatically reduce our marginal cost in doing business. And it's going to give rise to the sharing economy, which all the young people are already involved in. So this is the revolution afoot, and it's the formal plan of the EU. It's called Smart Europe, and we're going to launch it in February 2017 across every region of Europe. Well, in the short run, the next 40 years, two generations, we're going we're gonna to put everyone back to work because we have to build out the infrastructure. We have to transform the entire energy infrastructure of Europe. Uh, that's a huge um, build out. We have to transform the electricity grid and make it smart and digital. We have to transform all the transportation so that it's running uh, driverless. Uh, and right at the center of this is going to be buildings. That's why I'm here. Uh, Every building in Europe is going to be transformed into a node. Buildings are no longer just where you work or where you live. They are the Internet of Things. They are the smart technology. So we need the real estate industry, the construction industry, the ICT industry, uh, power and transport, all to come together. And we're going to have to retrofit every single building in Europe because they have to be made efficient. And then once we've made them efficient, we're going to put renewable energy technologies around the buildings, solar, wind, geothermal. And then we're going to put smart technologies in all the buildings so that they uh, uh, can communicate uh, across the buildings. We're going to put in charging stations so your electric vehicle can be charged right on spot. And the buildings will now become big data centers, micro power generation sites, and uh, charging hubs for your electric vehicles. And those buildings connect across regions and across Europe. That's the Internet of Things. So for construction and real estate, this is a huge leap in jobs, massive jobs. Robots are not going to put insulation in buildings. Robots are not going to uh, put in all the new technologies that have to be installed or any of these other things we have to do. So we've got 40 years of building this out, and we're going to bring the digital millennial workforce uh, into doing this. It's very disruptive. We'll talk about the sharing economy. Uh, it's going to create new business models, just like the first and second industrial revolution did. Already, um, we've seen the impact in the, uh, with the communication internet. Uh, the music industry, television, newspapers, magazines, book publishing are disrupted because young people are now producing and sharing their own news blogs and social media and music and videos uh, free in the sharing economy. Uh, while industries have been disrupted in the world of entertainment, news and knowledge, thousands of new businesses have emerged. They're creating the platforms, the apps, the connections. They're using the big data and analytics. Now we're going to be seeing this move to the physical world. We now have millions of people producing their own solar and wind electricity near zero marginal cost.
The sun doesn't send a bill. The wind doesn't send an invoice. That's going to disrupt the power industry. Uh, we're going to see uh, driverless transport and shared vehicles all over the world. That's going to change the business model for the transport industry. So while the old business models will be, um, will be transformed, the new business models will take their place. And it means every company is going to have to be alert. Um, it's exciting. It's challenging. It's a little scary. Uh, but it's going to make a better society. It's going to create a better economy that's sustainable, um, that's more democratic, that brings in the younger people in the workforce, and creates uh, a better and more livable world. And what I'm saying is the digital revolution changes everything. Digital communication, digital energy, digital transport. It's gonna, it's, we've seen in 15 years how it's disrupted the um, music, entertainment, news, and knowledge industry. Now it's moving to energy, and it's moving to transport and logistics, and, now, and it's going to move to manufacturing with 3D printing. Because the digital revolution dramatically increases your productivity, reduces your ecological footprint, and your marginal cost. That's new business models. So what I say to the business community is uh, this is a real huge opportunity that lies ahead. We're not going back. Step back, take a deep breath, think about where you're headed, and began to create two business models. The second industrial revolution, you have to take that model and let it ease out. At the same time, you have to have a third industrial revolution business model in place simultaneously so you can make the 30-year shift.